the side view of a sculpture A, B, C, D, E is lying on the horizontal floor A, B and leaning against the vertical wall A, E, F. Given that D, E is 17, C, D is 20, and B, C is 2 meters, angle E, D, C is pi over 2 radians, and angle D, E, F is theta. E, D is also known to be parallel to B, C. In part A of this question, show that the length AB is 15 sine theta plus 20 cos theta. In the next part, express AB in the form of R cos bracket theta minus alpha, where R is positive and alpha is an acute angle. In part C of this question, find the values of theta for which AB is 23 meters. In the final part of this question, write down the maximum value of AB and its corresponding value of theta. You might want to pause this video to give this question a try and when you're ready, keep watching. In part A of this question, we are told to find the length of AB and show that it is 15 sine theta plus 20 cosine theta. And over here in the diagram, AB is exactly the part of the line that is on the floor like this in purple. So that means to say we have to draw multiple right angle triangles in this diagram, finding where is the theta in this multiple right angle triangles. So before we start drawing multiple right angle triangles, let's first start off with going through our Tua Kaso like this. So by Tua Kaso, tangent is opposite over adjacent and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse using the acronyms. So in the first right angle triangle we're going to draw, we have this in greens. So over here, if this is your angle of theta and you have to draw a right angle triangle where this part is parallel to the wall and this side here is parallel to the floor. So this is the theta by alternate angles, theta will also be the same here. So if this is theta, then the angle opposite theta, the side that is opposite theta will be here. So this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So we want to find the side that is parallel to the floor AB, the part of the floor AB like this. So which is this part, so it will be opposite over hypotenuse, forming this side to be 17 sine theta. So let's write that down in part A first step. AB is 17 sine theta, as we can see there is still a part of the AB here. So in order to find this part, let's draw two more right angle triangles. First we have this blue color right angle triangle. We are given that DC is 20, which is the hypotenuse side of it, and where exactly is theta? Now, if this is theta and this is 90 degrees, this will be a 90 minus theta or pi over 2 minus theta. And this is the same as pi over 2, so this must be your theta. Alright, so if this is the angle of theta and um, we are supposed to find the side that is parallel to the floor, so let's find this part here. And this part um, is known as the adjacent side of it, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this part here is known to be 20 cos theta. But the thing is, it exceeded the BC. We want to find another right angle triangle whereby this side here, so, it, so that we can minus off this length of it to find the remaining small little length over here. So let's continue drawing the third right angle triangle in orange. Now, if this is theta over here, all right, if this is theta over here, that means to say that um, this is going to be another 90 degrees, consider the fact that BC is parallel to be ED like this. So this is going to be another 90 degrees. So this angle is going to be another 90 minus theta. And that means to say this part will now be the theta. Now if this is the angle over here. If this is the angle over here, the side there is opposite the angle is here. So this is the opposite. We want to find this part that is parallel or in this case on the floor itself. So over here, this is opposite over hypotenuse of 2. So this is going to be a 2 sine theta. Now taking um, 20 cos theta minus away 2 sine theta, we have this small little part of our AB over here. So that means to say the remaining part would therefore be 20 cos theta minus away 2 sine theta and doing some basic manipulation of combining the two yellows, 17 sine theta and um, minus 2 sine theta to give us a 15 sine theta as shown in the question plus a 20 cos theta. And that is the part A of this question. Now moving on to part B, whereby we have to express this length of AB, this length of AB here in part A, 
in the form of r cos theta minus alpha, where r is a positive and theta is an acute in the range from 0 to pi over 2 radians. Now, before we go through r formula here, r formula is actually derived from a multiple formulas over here. So let's go through this few formulas. First, we have the addition formula. As you can see, this is a cosine bracket theta minus alpha. So we have the addition formula here. Cosine bracket A minus B is the same as cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So this is the addition formula. Cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Next, we have trigonometric ratios because um, we to find the alpha, we need a tangent. So tangent theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta. And last but not least, we will need to have the Pythagorean trigonometric identities whereby sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1. So essentially, your R formula is a combination of these three formulas. So let's first start off with our part B of this, step 1. In step 1, um, AB is written to be 15 sine theta plus 20 cos theta. Now I'm going to set this by forming it into equating it to R cos theta minus alpha as shown in the question. And expanding this r cos theta minus alpha over here, we're going to have, so using this formula here, r cos a cos b would therefore be r cos theta cos alpha. All right, sine a sine b would therefore end up having plus r sine theta sine alpha like this. And in the next step, we're going to do some comparisons. So over here, comparing against cos theta versus the cos theta here. So the one that is highlighted in blue would therefore be r cos alpha to be equals to 20. Similarly, sine theta, comparing against sine theta versus the sine theta, that means to say r sine alpha will actually be 15. Now with these two equations, we can start to find our alpha using the trigonometric ratios highlighted in blue like this. So taking the orange equations divided by the equation above, sine alpha divided by cos alpha will therefore give us a tangent alpha. The r can be cancelled off and taking a tangent inverse of 15 over 20, giving us our alpha to be 0 0.644 in 3SF. Now, um, it is recommended, it is advisable that um, you live in either 4DP or 5DP to be a slightly more accurate answer to avoid approximation mistakes later on. So alpha is a 0 0.644, we have solved for alpha. Let us find what is our R. So to solve for R over here, all right, we're going to square the first equation and square the second equations. So when we square the first equation, we're going to have r cos square alpha plus square the second equation, we're going to have r square sine square alpha. So when we add up both up on the left, it's going to be the same as on the right, 20 squared plus 15 squared. So extracting r squared and then uh, putting it in the sine square plus cos square alpha, we're going to use the Pythagorean trigonometric identity like this whereby sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is actually a 1. So r square is therefore 15 square plus 20 square. Taking square root on both sides, r will therefore be root of 15 square plus 20 square, giving r to be a 25. Replacing your r and alpha into your part b equations, we're going to have the final answer to be ab to be 25. That's your r. ab to be 25. Cos bracket theta minus alpha. Alpha is a 0 0.644. And that's the answer for part B of this question. In part C of this question, we are told to set AB to be 23 and to find the value of theta. So essentially, this means solving trigonometric equations from our part B answer. So in the first step, we're going to set our AB to be a 23 from our part B answer to be this. So therefore, if you shift the 25 over here on the right to the left, it becomes a 23 over 25. Taking cosine inverse of 23 over 25 like this, that will be our basic angle, which I label here as an alpha 2 to avoid the confusion of the alpha in part B. So our basic angle alpha 2 is therefore cosine inverse of 23 over 25. As we can see here, cosine is 23 over 25. It is a positive. So if cosine is a positive, so drawing our x, y axis, our quadrant, a, s, t, c. If cosine is a positive, it either falls on the first quadrant of a or the fourth quadrant of c, a, s, t, c. So let's first start off with our first quadrant here, a. So if cosine is a positive, our alpha 2 will be here. 
And in this case, to describe this angle is basically just a simple alpha 2 like this. And to describe the fourth quadrants, we're going to draw another angle triangle like this. This is the fourth quadrant like this. So there are multiple ways of describing these angles. We can describe it as a 2 pi minus weight alpha 2. But that will defeat the purpose of this because you have to reject it. Because our angles, as you can see here, they are all within 90 degrees right angle triangle or pi over 2 right angle triangles. So that means to say that um, if you take 2 pi minus weight alpha 2, you will end up rejecting it. So instead of taking 2 pi minus alpha 2 to, to describe this angle, we're going to describe it as a minus alpha 2. So minus alpha 2 like this. So we put down the next angle here will be minus alpha 2. That's the next solution. Solving for theta by shifting this negative 0 0.6435 to the right hand side to be a plus will therefore give us 1.05 or 0 0.241. So these are the two answers to part C, rather off to 3SF. Now moving on to part D of this question, we are to write down the maximum value of AB and find the corresponding value of theta. This is just a simple 3 marks question. Please do not confuse yourself this question uh, by doing a differentiation and finding the maximum value. This is definitely not the solution for that. So to find the maximum value of AB, let's take a look at this AB equations. Now as you can see here, the only variable in this AB equation is just the theta. So to find the maximum value of AB, we just need to find the maximum value of cosine. And we have this part here. Maximum AB will therefore be found to be 25 times 1. Because the maximum of cosine is just simply a 1. Cosine actually range from negative 1 to 1. So the maximum of cosine is just a 1. Replacing this part to be a 1. The maximum AB is therefore 25. In the second part of this uh, question, we are asked to find the corresponding value of theta. Now setting AB to be 25 times 1, which is cosine theta minus away 0 0.644 to be a 1. We're going to have this part here. So second, setting the yellow part to be a 1, we're going to have this part. And in this case, as you can see here, uh, when will cosine be a 1? Cosine curve actually starts from the maximum at 0. So cosine inverse of 1 is actually a 0. And we plus the 0 0.644 by shifting it to the right like this. And finding for theta will therefore give us the answer of 0 0.644 radians in 3SF. And that's the answer for this whole question. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and see you in the next question.